Okay, we need to separate some crystals for a seed. What we're doing here is we're going to cause this reaction to go to supersaturation. That's why we're heating it up. Once it's super saturated, we, we really don't need much crystals. Just that's enough. Just easy place it. <clears throat> Once it goes to super, super saturation and we mix in the contents according to the amount that we must, then we um, add the boiling water, we add the, the uh, uh, chemical, aluminum silicate chemical for the zeolite, and this is cranked to 10. We, and I'll, I got a stirring bar too, so I can put that on stir. Now let's see, how much water do we add? Measure, look at a small grain. Okay, after you have a few back. We push some back. We're saving some back. Saving some there. Pour the boiling water from the small saucepan into the size C growing cup, which contains a form poly bag. C. That would be here. So, <clears throat> so what's saying? Uh, you obtain the chemical. We have it. Um, put some aside as a seed, which we did. Yep. Using your graduated measuring cup, measure out 68 milliliters of water. Very good. 68 milliliters. Let's use a graduated cylinder. They tend to be more accurate than beakers. No. I'm not doing that. Did you see what I almost did? This will never pour. And what do we do with the extra water? Do what I want in my lab. Measure out 68 milliliters and I'll put you down and let you watch. Using a graduated cylinder, 68 is the number, right? Yeah. So it says. Base rock piece, okay. Saucepan for boiling water. Let your parents help you with that. Anyway. Or styrofoam cup if water boil is boiled in microwave. Base rock pieces is too. I got some base rocks here. And it says base rock pieces to place in the bottom of the plastic crystal growing cup for your zeolite to grow upon. Well, a cup doesn't say. Oh, okay, here we are. Well, I'm sorry, we'll go down here. So open, we got that. We got this to see. Okay. Uh, and the next step was here we are to uh, take a uh, spatula, observe them. We saw they're green, dark green. We put an eighth of a tablespoon, a fourth and eighth. We have an eighth there. I was right on. Using your graduated measuring cup, measure 68 milliliters of water. 
and pour this water into a, into a small saucepan and, and on the stove heat until the water is boiling. So I think we'll have time. So we measure this out until we get to 68 milliliters. Uh, to break some of it up here. Very, very lumpy. Alumina, aluminum silicate. Aluminum, silicon, oxygen. And then they'll have accessory elements in them making different colors. Iron, cobalt. I, I read all the different ones to you. I'm going to try to get this. This will be a two-part video. Oh, that's my fan. Another disaster in the laboratory. This will be a two... At least a two-part video because this is going to require weeks to um, grow. for you to see me mm. here. Making zeolites. What are they rich in? They're rich in hydration and water. They have a high water content. So we looked at the... We got that done. We, we have the chemical and we have but 68 milliliters of water and pour this into this saucepan. And bring the boil. Okay. We're going to let that come to boil. And while that's boiling, we'll continue to read on the procedure. Using a clean spatula, carefully look at the grains we did. We saw what they looked like. Put that some back, which we did. Now, using a graduated measuring cup, measure out, the, okay, with the mills, we did that. And of, of water. It's not the I'm not using deionized water. It's not necessary for this. And pour this water into, into the, the beaker I did and boil it. Pour the boiling water from the small beaker into size C plastic grown, growing cup. C's ready. Which contains the contents from, poly, from uh, of the uh, zeolite chemical. Stir this mixture with one of your wooden spatulas until all of the chemical grains have dissolved completely. For the chemical, we have about... It's about 50 mils worth of chemical and 68 mils of water. The water here is... Uh, is, is what <clears throat> this is from a kit so they gave me the right amount of a zeolite in powder form I just need to follow the directions place one or two broken rock fragments in the bottom of 
the size D plastic growing cup. D. Okay, well I have two D's and uh, some rocks. I've never done this before, so I'm curious to see how it's going to turn out. Okay, then pour the chemical water solution from C into size D. So, are we boiling yet? We're on our way. We're not there yet. glass which I I can't oh here we are put a watch glass on that just kind of get it going I see steam forming already this is heating up heating up quite fast let's see where we are Some supplies, and one supply will be all right. Temperature. This is a thermometer. Seven, 72 degrees right now. Okay, we are going up to 156, 157. This is Fahrenheit. We've got to get to 212, 212, 212 degrees.